Hi guys, here we are presenting a, our video on Trivium Cipher. My name is Jay Pandya and my partner's name is Rushali Benani. We are doing our Masters in Electrical Engineering from University of Texas at Dallas. Hi guys, my name is Rushali and we are here to present the video on Trivium Cipher. So this video explains the working of Trivium Cipher the algorithm and how to build the Trivium Cipher using Cadence and how to build the layout and the schematic using the Cadence tool. So the first question that strikes our mind when we hear about the Trivium Cipher is what the Trivium Cipher is. So the Trivium Cipher is basically an encryption mechanism which is used to encrypt data which is sent over the internet. As we can see that there is a growing use of internet, so it becomes very uh, necessary to encrypt all the data which is sent over the network. The so Trivium Cipher is basically a synchronous encryption algorithm which, is, which takes in the plain text as shown in the figure and the key to generate the encrypted text. The encrypted text is used for the decryption mechanism which again requires the key and that re is required to generate the plain text. The next slide shows the deeper working of the Trivium Cipher. So this is the structure of Trivium Cipher which uses the XOR gate, NAND gate and the shift registers. These are the D flip flops which are connected back to back and the output is fed to the XOR gate and the AND gate and the output is again fed back to the input of the first D flip flop block. So this shows the block diagram of the Trivium Cipher. This basically is based upon what how we have built our layout. So the first block consists of 93 D flip flops. The next block consists of one, uh, the next 84 D flip flops, and the third block consists of the 111 D flip flops. So here we have used the XOR gates to XOR the outputs which you are getting from the queue of the various D flip flops, and this is again fed back to the first one. So now these are the schematic and the layout for the inverter, the AND gate, and the XOR, which are the basic building block of the Trivium cipher. So here are the sizes, uh, the delay, power, area measurements of the various basic building blocks of the TVM cipher have been shown at the end of the video. And now the rest will be presented by my partner that is Jay Pandya. Thank you. Hey guys. So here is the gate level diagram of TVM cipher. So here the big blocks are the 8 input day flip flops and the small ones are the 1 input day flip flops. Here in the, on the right side we have XOR gates and NAND and inverters. In this layout uh, we try to keep our aspect ratio as 1 and also we need to connect our 93rd and 177th output to the XOR gate and we need to give it to the inverter uh, D flip flop. So that's why we are keeping it as in first uh, column we have 93 D flip flops, in second column we have 84 D flip flops and in the last one we have 111 D flip flops. So here is a simulated result for the Trivium cipher. This figure shows generated waveform by loading the initial value into D flip flops. The state is rotated for 4 cycles and output waveform is generated for 1152 clock cycle. Here is the critical path shown. So the critical path follows the, the longest path in the, our route. It follows from the first D flip flop to the 93rd D flip flop, then it, it is going to the XOR gate, then it again goes to D flip flop, then it again goes to XOR gate, and finally it goes to D flip flop and XOR gate. And this is the uh, critical path. So, and here is our output. So this uh, figure shows the waveform at 93rd clock, uh, clock cycle. So 93rd, we are generating the 93rd uh, clock, uh, 93rd D flip flop here. And uh, after that, 177th D flip flop will generate the output here. So as we have shown in figure, the output waveform, we are getting our output just like that in our uh, spice file. And here is the specification of the AND gate. XOR gate, D flip flops, and here is the area power energy measurement for all of this. Thank you guys for watching our video.